Welcome to Savisa. Today we are going to discuss about sending email from localhost by using Gmail, PHP and Jam. To send the email from localhost we need to configure our php.ini. Second we need to manage for sendmail.ini. Third, we just have to give access for less secure apps from our Gmail. Fourth, we just have to call our mail functions from PHP to write a code. To configure the same mail, we just have to change the settings from our same mail. So for this one, we are just trying to open our same mail from our jam folder so the jam is installed in the C drive and we just have to go for the send mail after that one we will click the send mail and if there is anything else error we just have to open the error files let's open the send mail dot ini file which is also known as the configuration setting you just have to double click on this one and we just have to change some settings as per the requirements so first of all we need to change the smtp server uh, by default it will be a uh, mail dot your domain dot com we just have to change the gmail smtp so let's write smtp.gmail.com and normally the smtp port will be the 25 we just have to change this 25 port by 587 now we need to change the ssl part that is by default it will be auto and we just have to change as tls So we need to check the error log files, uh, if there is anything else or commented, you just have to remove this comment, otherwise leave it as it is. And the debug file log is commented, so we need to uncomment this one. So let's remove this semicolon. After that one, the most important part is providing the authentication, that is your gmail username and password let's write your username and password for me i'm just trying to use a one demo gmail with that credential now the email and password is Return. Please make sure your credential must be matched with your Gmail account. After that one, uh, if you want to write the force sender, you just have to give your email address uh, from whom the email is sent. And then for recipient also, if required, you just have to write. Otherwise, leave it blank. There will be no problem for you. And then at last, you just have to set the host name. The host name should be localhost. Host name is equal to localhost. Let's save it and close it. Now, uh, after this one, we just have to change the configurations of PHP. Again, we have to open the PHP folder. So, for that one, we need to navigate or let's wait. I'm just going to navigate my php folder so i am inside jam i must have to open the php folder let's open your php folder then go for the php configurations file or that is also known as the php.ini let's double click let's open it and we need to change the settings as per the requirements so first we need to find out the open ssl let's uh, 
check the open SSL DLL it is under the extension extension path you just have to find out let's wait for a while we need to navigate or 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 you just have to find these things by pressing the control F and write the open SSL dot DLL or you just have to write PSP open SSL oops I got the mistake that is typo error let me correct and refined let's wait it will be the above and let's navigate let's check these extensions we just have to find out the open SSL dot DLL for me it's below I just have to find out I got it and the extension is already enabled if this extension is disabled in your system you just have to enable otherwise you just have to leave as it is this is disabled and if the disabled you just have to enable this one this is the most important part for sending emails so now let's find out the SMTP we just have to change the SMTP part the SMTP by default SMTP will be the local host and we need to change this one for smtp.gmail.com and the default port is 25 now we need to change 587 which is already declared in sendmail.ini so we just have to write the same mail from from whom the email is sent um, this is already set in same mail and for uh, sender here also you have to write the same mail from the same address you just have to write after this one now uh, the most important part is send mail part we have to write the same mail part that is your uh, jump installation directory and then there will be the send mail folder inside the send mail folder there will be the send mail.exe you need to find out that one so for this one i have already written in notepad i will just copy that one and i will paste here you can also do these things okay let's uh, open my file and send mail path i just have to copy this one let me copy let me paste and let me manage after is equal to there will be the space and sometimes you will not uh, able to send the mail so if you are using the windows system at that time you just have to change these backslashes to front slashes also except escaping slash and we need to check the let's check your apps so for that one i just have to open the my email that is tbc and uh, let me navigate my email so this is my email so for this uh, email i must have to enable the less secure apps so for that one i just have to run the url and the less secure app access is off by default it will be off and we just need to on let's on and then uh, you got the some mail also from gmail there will be no problem whenever you change the settings for psp.ini or sendmail.ini uh, send if after changing the settings or configurations file you must have to restart your server according to that one now i'm going to restart my server the server is restarted and now we can or we'll be able to send the email but before that one we just have to write a file or we have to make a psv file to send the email so let me create that one we'll try to create let's open the subline or any text editor as per your wish and you just have to write these mother of quotes as per your requirements so the mail functions by default mail functions with x 
four parameters. Uh, for that one, first first parameter will be the uh, two, second parameter will be the subject, third parameter will be the message, and fourth parameter will be the headers. You just have to write, and then I just have to use the these these things. Let's uh, try to open the file localhost 85 email uh, i just have saved this file inside the email folder and my default port for the uh, apache server is 85 so that's why i opened now look at here uh, before uh, trying to access the file i will show you my email there, there is no emails uh, which is from the local server and we are trying to send the email from here let's click this one now it's processing we are sending our email for here and after sending the email from here we'll get yes we got the mail sent message which is uh, written in our PSV file and we just have to explore our gmail we got it yes we got it and tbcl52019 test email hello world this is my first mail and if you open same content whatever we have sent from our php file that is received we just have sent the hello world this is my first message the same message we got it in our email so these are the things for sending the emails by your local host and if you need to uh, check the sent history you can go for your email and check from the sent items so in the sent items you will get your email sent history so this is the email i just have sent okay one minute ago that that is previously i just have tested and uh, the latest one is the one minute ago we just have sent the email same content we just have sent so we need to manipulate these things 